Well, last May, the Obama administration announced a new rule requiring every public school in the country to let transgender students use whichever bathroom or locker room match their preferred gender identity. Well, yesterday, the Trump administration retracted that rule, saying that bathroom policies like these are state issues and shouldn't be set by the decrees of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Zach Pacanis is a senior advisor to the DNC and helms their Trump war room. This morning on Twitter, he called President Trump a monster for reverting to the policy in place just one year ago. He joins us now. Zach, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So, I mean, that's what's so mind-boggling about uh, what the Trump administration did uh, today. He took away practical guidance to school administrators and principals who were looking to create this, this safe environment and were looking to not get sued for Title IX violations. I mean, those guidelines still exist on the internet, presumably, and they could look them up. It's not like they're disappearing from the English language. And so I still am waiting for the answer to my question, though. It took the Obama people seven years to do this. And that's fine with me, but I'm not the one calling people monsters sure. for pulling them back. So, like, are you giving President Obama a pass for not acting on this soon? I, I'm, okay, see now, you're a hater. I'm giving Obama, uh, uh, President Obama extraordinary praise for taking decisive action to protect these vulnerable kids. Okay. Okay. And, and I am saying that Donald Trump is not only a monster, but he's a coward. We're, ta okay. we're, talking, we're talking about um, somebody who is so emasculated by Vladimir Putin. Thank you, Miss Fleming. You call me when the shuttle lands. Uh -huh. That he has to. Come, right, I'm going to have to stop you there because now has, we're now we're getting off. No, 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 that, that he has to come back and pick on vulnerable kids. Okay. These kids, okay. these kids are the most vulnerable children okay. in the country. Slow down, Zach. Let's let's Hold get no, let's no. get to the core of the issue. Do you mind? Look, I get that. You're, I'm never going to get you to say that that Obama should have done it. That's fine. Let's get, move from the politics to the science because this policy has sure. implications that go far beyond bathrooms and locker rooms. The core question is what constitutes male and female. Okay, see now, you're a hater. And the implication of these guidelines that Obama put in place is that a man is someone who says he's a man and a woman who's, is someone who says she's a woman. You get to decide your gender. You're, there's no biological anchor to sex anymore. It's all determined by the individual. So my obvious question for you is, how do I know if a person's male or female? Is there some other absolute standard that people have to meet to be male or female. Okay, see now, you're a hater. Other than what they say. One, one's gender identity is, is enough to show what gender they are. And so if you're okay. confused about that, I mean, I leave that, you know, to your level of enlightenment and... and, uh, and no, no, this and is, it's not about enlightenment. Well, Chief, the last time that I saw Agent 24, he was wearing a dress, lipstick, high heels, and a brunette wig. Agent 24 wasn't working in disguise. He wasn't? Oh. Well, in that case, when he gets back, he better have a long talk with the control psychiatrist. This is a real question because there are all kinds of institutions in American life that function on a sex segregated basis. Women's college, sports, both professional and amateur, prisons. And so you're telling me that I can play on a woman's sports team when I say I'm a woman. Okay, see now, you're a hater. What we are, what we are saying is that in this guidance with public schools, which we're ta in, and the vulnerable kids that are there, that there are specific guidelines that these teachers and these supervisors and these principals asked for in how to create safe. Okay, but safe now you're going back spaces. to the first question. You but, just but, said but a that second is, ago. But, but, that, that, but that is what we're. But that is what we're. That is what we're talking no. about. No, let me take you back three sentences. When you said gender identity is determined by the person who possesses it, that's mm -hmm. almost exactly what you said. Correct. And, and I'm saying there are massive implications of this that everyone is either too dumb or too embarrassed to explore, but let's do so now. If your sex is what you say it is, then what prevents me from playing on a women's field hockey team? What prevents me from getting convicted of a felony and demanding to go to a women's prison? And it's a real question. It's, it's not a, it's not a real question. Why is it not a real question? It's, it's, it's not a real question because it is it is pretty absurd. And there are no wait, other wait, examples. Wait, because, because why? There, because there are no examples of this. The, 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 what do you mean? There, How could you miss? There, I'm sorry, but there are no examples. It's, this is the same argument about saying that there, uh, this will allow sexual predators to go into into women. I'm not into making that bathroom. argument. Yes, but, yeah, but you are. But you are making that argument. Okay. What I'm saying is, I just want to know what the standards are. I'm not actually making any claims. I'm merely the, asking the, a the, question, the, the, the and I want are, you to answer. Yes, the standards is are there exact, a scientific exactly as I said. standard? Because when you deal with questions of biology, that is a species of science. So, what's the scientific standard? I'm a scientist. I want to know if you're a man or a woman. How do I find out? Look, these. these okay, see now, you're a hater. Look, these these are discussions that you're that I, I encourage you to have with someone someone who is transgender, and they can come and, and no, talk to you. No, I, I don't need that and to speak to a trans. I can speak to you because you think about the stuff for a living. So it's a very simple question. Yes, I want to know I, if you're a man or a woman. I'm a scientist. How do I find out? 
Your gender identity determines your gender, period. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. So should someone who looks like me, I look like a man, you think I was a man, I say I'm a woman, and I demand to play in a women's sports team, I demand to go to women's college, I demand a small business administration loan for women-owned businesses. That's a real thing, that's a billion dollar question, for real. Can you, can you turn me down if I say I'm a woman? Okay, see now, you're a hater. The question that is on the table right now is about Title IX. Let's not and, be... and about And about guns. No, but you want to go off on the Title IX applies, it's not a tangent. You, you want, you Title IX applies, to, it applies and was created yes. around the question of women's sports. So, as a apparent man, if I say I'm a woman, is that enough? Do I meet the standard as a woman to play in a women's sports team? This, that this goes is, right to Title IX. Don't this, dodge the question. I'm not dodging the question. This is something that the Supreme Court is be looking at is going to looking at next, next month. And yes, the answer is absolutely yes. Okay. Gender identity determines one's gender. Let me ask you period. this. Period. And this is a this is a matter this is a matter of civil rights. Is there science behind this? Because I know that there's, I'm there's often getting science. really absolutely what, what science can, I want you to name a single scientist, just one who says you can determine your own sex just by saying so. Can you name one scientist who says that? I, I, I'd, be, I'd be happy to send you many after a, a scientist. Okay, I'm going to have another try. I think we've got it now. <laughs> My boys have been looking around the door, down the wrong bit, you see. There. Oh, no, no, you've got to look down that bit there. I thought you had to look down that bit. Oh, no, you've got to look down that bit or you won't hit anything. All right, we'll give it a whirl. Yes. You said you can determine your own sex. An actual scientist, like this someone is, who went to college. No, listen, you, 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 you clearly have some issues around this. It's not an which, issue which at all. I, I have questions I like. that you can't answer. And you're instead throwing things like, you're not enlightened. I'm asking you a sincere question. Okay, see now? You're a hater. What's the science behind this? And you're deflecting. Why? I'm, 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 I'm simply not deflecting. This is, this is, this is, this is a matter of, se this is a matter of settled uh, uh, science. And it is well, something that... What's the that science, exactly? That you are what you say you are? Could I change my race, too? And, and don't this dodge is, that question. Is, That's a real question. Is, okay, see now? You're a hater. No, no, you cannot, you cannot why, change why your race. Why can't I change my race, but I can change my sex? What's the difference? It is not about changing. It is not about changing. But why is This is about it? inherently who people are. Really? And, what if I say I'm inherently of another race? Who are you to say I'm not? I mean, again, you're, you're getting into these silly hypotheses. It's not silly, silly at all. Two it years is, ago, nobody absolutely. thought you could change your own sex. And you're saying it's, that, well, it's one, settled one science. Does, it's like living with a six-year-old. That is simply not true. We have had transgender protections uh, in in this country. But for, you haven't for, explained for, what for transgender decades. is. You're just saying it's whatever we say it is. You, look, you want to go into this in this right wing pseudoscience. It's not right wing at all. It, it is. It absolutely. It absolutely. It's pseudoscience, is. right? You name. No, what, you, I will you give are, you a thousand dollars if you can find any scientist, like an actual biologist at an accredited American college, willing to come on this show and say, "Here's the science. Here's the state of play of biology, 2017. I, I, name your sex, I, and that's I, what I, it I is." Well, I suppose that's possible. You can't. I, I There's don't no understand science. why you won't answer the well, answer the question I'll about why. Any question always. Excellent. Why shouldn't schools who are asking for it get guidance on how to create safe and safe environments for say, all their kids? I would say why that, that guidance exists. It floats on the internet, and if it's merely guidance, then the federal government needs no more to do with it. They well, can say, well, here's well, our guidance. Well, if, if, You're if, undermining if, if your own simply, argument, if, if, which if was weak simply, to begin with. If, if, it is, <laughs> if, it is, if it is as simple as that, okay. then, why do you, then why do you care so much? Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're out of time. I'm actually enjoying this, but I want you to produce the scientist just one. And let's, let's make it Harvard, and I'll give you a thousand bucks. And I'm not attacking anybody, I'm just asking the question. Anyway, we're out of time. Zach, it was great to see you. Well, I guess that's it. I'll see you back at headquarters 24. Oh, incidentally, that's a fantastic disguise. But take my advice. Do something about your voice. It's a dead giveaway.